Hi guys, welcome back. This is Sean from Play by Pause, and today we're gonna to talk about gimbal. Today we have a different setup because now I'm located at Camera Highlands, a famous tea plantation in Malaysia. And today's topic, we're gonna to focus on ways to improve your gimbal shots with any gimbal. So something you keep in mind, all tips given are applicable on any gimbals, even the old gimbal like what I'm using right now, the Zing Crane 2. So let's jump right into the first tip. First thing first, balance your gimbal before start any filming. I understand that you might be very excited when you first got your gimbal, can't wait to go out and get some amazing moving shots. But to keep your shooting sessions smooth, you should always prepare yourself. For example, balance your gimbal properly. And good things about balancing a gimbal is that you can really fully utilize its full potentials without damaging the gimbal's motors. And of course, sometimes you can fix those micro weird wobbliness if you're using a gimbal. Second, find a foreground. This is one of the most common beginner mistakes when you're using a gimbal. To me, what makes a gimbal shot look so cinematic is the feeling of movement. In order to create this kind of feeling of movement, you can either go with a very fast movement, for example, a fast push in or fast pull out, or you can simply just put a foreground in your frame. For example, here we have a lateral move on a tea farm. Um, you can feel some slight movement, but nothing much going on. But when you have subject in the frame, it completely changed the feel of it. You can feel much more camera movement in the frame. I understand that there's a lot of gimbal lovers like to use a wider angle focal length for the gimbal shots because in general it looks good and it's easier. But to improve your gimbal shot, you should always use a longer focal length such as 50, 85, 135. The things that I like about longer lens is you can create a more cinematic movements. Uh, you can really create some compressions for your shots. You can really reduce the distance between the background and the subjects, which I really love a lot. For example, we have Joe walking across the tea farm. As we push to the left, we reveal Joe and the environments from the bushes. So it somehow creates two scenes in one shot. Another advantage of using a longer lens is you can create depth of field in your shots. You can really throw the background out of focus. So you shouldn't find an excuse not using a longer lens, honestly, because nowadays we have a very smaller form factors due to a mirrorless design. We have a lighter, smaller lens. You can easily get a 50 or 85 mm for less than 400 gram. Next, go for simple movement instead of hard movement. Remember to simplify your camera movements. Because first time I got my gimbals, I was so excited. I was just Googling and tried to find some fancy tracking movement for my gimbal, but end up it doesn't look that good. No, come on, let's face it, it's not as easy to get a very smooth camera gimbal movements. So always keep things simple because a lot of times a simple camera movement tells a better story and sometimes it creates a more pleasing, smooth result by the end of the day. Be creative with your shots. The reason why we own a gear is to help you to achieve shots that you are not able to achieve. And this is why a gimbal can be very handy for creative angles. So one of the creative angles that I really like to use when I'm using a gimbal is the low angles. The lower angles emphasize more towards the subject and creates a bigger environment, which looks very interesting compared to our eye levels. Besides that, I love to use gimbal for my jeep shots. This is one of my favorite angles when I'm using a jeep shots because it creates an established or intro shot for my frame. There's few ways of achieving a jeep shot using a gimbal. So first off, you have to change your gimbal to lock or free modes and then simply just raise your gimbal as high as possible and slowly move down a gimbal while you're moving. So there you have it, 5 easy ways to improve your gimbal shots. Hope this video is helpful and for those who own a gimbal, remember to go out there and give a try for all these tips and I hope it helps in your gimbal journey. I know it might sound easy but trust me, it ain't easy to master the basics of the gimbal shots. So remember to practice, have some fun and as always, create learn and have fun. I'll see you guys in the next video.